The Seattle Mariners lost to the Baltimore Orioles in extra innings once again off of Cedric Mullins' home run. This led to the Mariners losing the series and losing a huge opportunity to take a spot in the wild card, and they are now once again behind the Toronto Blue Jays. And there has been complaints by Mariner fans that the umpire made a questionable call in the strike zone, which led to a walk by Andres Munoz and the Orioles taking the lead in the ninth inning, eventually leading to a Mariner's defeat. But however, I am not here to talk about the umpire, as I don't like to blame the umpire for the Mariners losing games, since that is just making excuses and not putting accountability on the team. I am here to talk about how the Mariners cost themselves to win the game and the series. But before we get into that, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The issue I had with the game was the awful pitching management of Mariners manager Scott Service. And I know what you're thinking. How dare you criticize a manager who has led the Mariners to 90 wins two seasons in a row and led the Mariners to the playoffs last season and should have won manager of the year. You are not a true fan. Yes, that is true. But that does not excuse him for making critical decisions that hurt the Mariners' chances of winning. And hear me out, because I'm going to explain his key decision making with his pitchers that arguably cost the game. But be careful, some of you Mariner fans might be offended by this, but too bad for you. The first mistake Scott Service made was when he pulled Mariner starter Bryce Miller after just 85 pitches. Sure, the Mariners gave up a run where the Orioles tied the game and that the two runs were given up in total, but the first run could have been prevented if Dylan Moore didn't field an error and if Ty France actually applied the tag where the effort looked very lackluster, as if he doesn't hustle at all. The second run was only started because of a lucky infield base hit and Cade Marlowe's awful throw to home with a clear opportunity to throw the runner out to where the Orioles would tie the game. Clearly, none of this was Bryce Miller's fault, and he didn't even deserve to be pulled out. Sure, he only struck out a couple batters, but only allowed five hits and was pitching pretty efficiently even with two runs given up and only one of them being earned. I was thinking that Bryce Miller should have been allowed to at least finish the inning since there was only a man on first base and there was two outs anyway, and I do think he could have gone at least one more inning to save the arms in the bullpen. Fortunately, Justin Topa did get out of the inning with an easy strikeout, so no more damage was done by the Orioles. Although Justin Topa gave up a hit in the following inning, the Mariners turned a double play, giving them two outs, but once again, Scott Service went into his bullpen again on two outs for Gabe Spire, which I did not understand because there was only one out to go, and with no one on base, the rationale was, Service wanted to do that lefty-lefty matchup, but Justin Topa just got a lefty into a double play, so I found this decision very head-scratching. And by doing this, Scott Service continues to waste another pitcher, especially on a tie game. Ultimately, Spire did get out of the inning without giving up a hit and a run in just five pitches of work. Then in the next inning, Scott Service changed his pitcher again for Matt Brash. Like why? Spire only faced one batter and should have been allowed to go the full inning. That way, he can save the arms for the bullpen in case of extra inning situations where the Mariners have been terrible all season long. Although Matt Brash did walk the first batter, he did pitch a pop-up and two strikeouts at the end of the inning. And then Scott Service made another pitching change by pulling Matt Brash for Andres Munoz, who in the previous game melted down in extra innings. And with that, he would not be available going into the Kansas City game for the next day. Although Andres Munoz got the first strikeout, Munoz then gave up a ground rule double and then a walk on a controversial call in the strike zone. The 1-1. 100 miles an hour and wow. it's just off the plate. That was close. Borderline pitch, 2-1. and one. Then strangely, Munoz was called for a balk, which led to Scott Service being upset and arguing with the umpire. They call a balk? They must have. I think they've called a balk on Munoz. Yeah, they're saying he didn't come set. I get the frustrations with the balk, but I didn't find the decision to argue with the umpire to be necessary since putting in Andres Munoz on a non-save situation and knowing that he did lose the game the night before was a poor decision to begin with. And by arguing with the umpire in a tight situation, that made it even less necessary because when the Orioles see any one of the Mariners losing it with emotion, that gives the Orioles the upper hand mentally and the Mariners had a hurt morale for the game. Eventually, Service got ejected and then Baltimore scored instantly making it 3-2. to two. In the bottom of the ninth inning, Ty France nearly tied the game with a home run, but it was robbed by Cedric Mullins. Eventually, Dominic Canzone tied the game with a home run. Canzone! A towering fly ball! Dom Canzone! He ties it off the windows! 
But at that point, it was just too little too late since the Mariners had already depleted much of their bullpen and that the Mariners were left with Trent Thornton, who the Mariners got on a cheap trade before the trade deadline, and he hasn't been that special to begin with. He eventually gave up a two-run home run to Cedric Mullins, and then the Mariners would ultimately lose the game and the series. Overall, although you can say the umpire made a controversial call, which led to Andres Munoz having a meltdown, but there were so many factors that could have been prevented to not need to blame the umpire. Furthermore, Scott Service really should have been careful with his bullpen, since the Mariners won't have a day off until August 24th. Keep that in mind until then. But those are my thoughts on the game on how it was really lost. Let me know in the comments if you think my opinions were valid or if you think I'm just an angry fan. Or do you really think it was the umpire's fault? And if you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. And please do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell for future content.